get my energy from food, usually spaghetti bolognese, and lots of it. But I have a pet snake, and sometimes she doesn't eat for weeks, which made me wonder, where do reptiles get their energy from? My spaghetti is packed with chemical energy. My stomach starts to break it down into smaller parts, which my body can use to release energy as it travels through my digestive system. The released energy allows me to keep warm, move and grow. In the wild, some lizards like to sit on warm rocks, and crocodiles bask. Pet bearded dragons like to sit under a heat lamp. This is because reptiles are ectotherms. Reptiles use the chemical energy from their food and the heat energy they get from the sun to keep warm, move and grow. Snakes only get 10% of the energy they need from their food, so they need to eat far less than a human would. If I was a snake, because I get 90% of the energy I need from the sun, I'd only need to eat the equivalent of two bowls of spaghetti a week. Reptiles aren't the only ectotherms. Insects also use heat from their surroundings. And just like reptiles, they need the sun's energy to keep active. I did an experiment with these locusts to see if they also change their activity levels based on how warm it is. I plotted the locust activity on these two graphs. Along the x-axis are the 10 different locusts and down the y-axis are the time intervals. I watched each locust carefully for 10 seconds and I repeated this 10 times at the two different temperatures. I was amazed by how little they moved when they were colder. So by utilising external heat energy, my snake requires less food. She really is an energy efficient ectotherm.